morning, everybody. Wolfie has this week off and he said we should go camping. So we're going on a little spontaneous camping trip. I am currently in our courtyard trying to get our tents and equipment ready. <laughs> Wolfie said he doesn't mind carrying the big tent. Among the goals recently. just parked and now we are gonna kind of wander around and find a spot to camp because we are wild camping. It's a very windy day. There are a lot of signs that say extreme fire danger so we won't be having a fire. I'm not sure where we're gonna go but we're just gonna wander until we find a nice spot. We obviously don't have uh, the hikeable wild camping gear. We usually go car camping or something. Um, so someday maybe we'll upgrade. I'm ready to go. I can pull out like a samurai sword. The main Which one? I got these mats at REI before I moved out of Colorado and we've been using them camping ever since. They've been amazing. And we have one big double person sleeping bag. This bag is so heavy. So, milk for coffee, and for dessert, chocolate biscuits, nice. and you got a beer, nice. and I got a wine. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. I couldn't find wine in a can. Look at this gourmet setup. <laughs> And here's a little behind the scenes for filming. So my big camera's in here, my lenses. And over here we have the drone, my phone, which I also use to film stuff. So there's a lot of space that is taken up just by that, just by all the photography. I think the thing I looked forward to the most with the idea of camping is making coffee in the morning. <laughs> Like that's all I, I fantasize about it all the time. We've set up camp in a really beautiful little spot. Pretty flat lighting. Um, to be honest, I'm actually not that inspired <laughs> to take photos. Extremely cloudy and windy. And then we'll have moments where it's really calm and wonderful, but it stays uh, very cloudy. Um, but anyways, I'm wandering around looking at little details. So if I'm not like super inspired by the lighting, instead I'll capture short video clips and photos of close-ups of things that I think are really interesting in the forest.
one really good thing about wild camping when it's a little bit windy and a little bit chillier is that you don't get swarmed by midges. <laughs> midges are like the apex predator of Scotland. And if you don't know what that is, uh, you could Google it, but they're just basically teeny, 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 tiny mosquito-like bugs. Like they're almost so small you can't see them. But if they find you and they're attracted to blood, they want to like suck your blood. <laughs> um, they will swarm you and then you're just covered. And they actually make midge nets that like go over your, your face, your skin, and midge spray and all of those things. Uh, but it's just horrific if you're out camping and you get swarmed by midges. So this, even though it's not like perfect conditions, uh, it's still absolutely beautiful and don't have to worry about getting eaten alive. The sun doesn't set until like 10.30 p.m. so we have a while. Oh he's in the tree! <laughs> I didn't see him at first. I was like where'd he go? Spot the wolfie. He actually is pretty camo right now. Oh god. Yeah. Where are you finally getting swarmed? They were swarming me before too. <laughs> so uh, it's only 7.30. So I'm gonna set my alarm for like nine and just like peek out and look. See if it's nice. Otherwise, I'm gonna set my alarm for 3 a.m. The wind we're was supposed to die face, down. And... We're facing directly east. Yeah, yeah just... we'll see it right in front of us. It'll probably amazing. blast us in the face. So... You've like dead midges on your face. We've been grounded. <laughs> we were grounded yeah. in the tent. In the I'm so glad I went out and saw that there were that there was beautiful light. I got a little bit of it. It's so pretty. <sighs> but that's the thing, like the wind died down, which made the loch still. The water was nice and reflective and beautiful. But of course, without wind, you get midges. Yeah. Oh god, that Oops. was awful. Uh so yeah, we're gonna have a nice chill evening in the tent yeah, maybe from... play some cards cards but you you play cards with cards you play cards with cards yeah. <laughs> all right Good morning, everybody. I'm trying to be quiet because Wolfie's still sleeping. It's 3.30 a.m. and my alarm went off, but I was already kind of awake because it was very cold. I just don't sleep very well when I camp. I don't know, I'm just a light sleeper, so I wake up with like every sound. But it's a beautiful morning, so I'm out taking some photos. Show you up my view. I mean, this is the reason to spend the night in nature to see the fringes of the sun, sunset, sunrise. And we're only a few days away from the solstice, so sunrise is very early for something a.m. I'm just having fun walking around taking photos but especially just 
enjoying this magical hour. The midges and the mosquitoes are out. So this headband helps a lot. Basically, put this on, cover my ears, because they get in your ears, it's horrible. Put this on, cover it in smidge spray, <laughs> and it really, really helps. So tip for anyone coming to the Highlands. So for this trip, I just brought my 85 millimeter F1.8, which it's a really, really light lens. Look how small it is. <laughs> and it's super fast, super focused fast. <laughs> and that is fun for landscape photography when you're just like moving around a lot. And then I also... <laughs> I have the pouch. Uh, and then for wide shots, I have my 16 to 35, which goes down to f.4, which is not bad. It's really good for landscape photography. At its widest, it doesn't give too much distortion, which is what I really like. But I also really love shooting at 35 millimeter. That My 35 millimeter used to be my favorite landscape lens. Speaking of which, I'm gonna pop this one on before the light runs away too much. suddenly very cloudy, so I might be done. <laughs> I think I'm gonna head back to the tent and make some coffee and get out of, get out of the mosquitoes and the midges. It's awful. <laughs>
like 7 or 8 a.m. and Wolfie's still sleeping. <laughs> so he's definitely not a morning person. He'll sleep until afternoon if he can. <laughs> and I am a morning person, so I'm always up early. And especially when camping, I just want to, I mean, I can't not soak all this up. That's why I'm here. <laughs> How's your coffee? Needed. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. My bowl of coffee. I'm getting midgied. No. A lot? Yeah. I have midge. It's midge. You want it? Yep. two hours of sleep. A million times worth it for the sunrise. Driving down there, setting up the tent, making all that effort, getting eaten alive by midges, <laughs> just for that sunrise. Oh, it was epic. I can't wait to show you some of the footage. Oh, I'm sure it was on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he slept in. I didn't sleep in at all, I slept. He slept um, till like nine, eight, eight, eight. And then basically when I got up, you had been kidnapped. So when I was walking to the car, he woke up. And when I was walking back to the tent, apparently he was wandering around whistling and trying to find me. And he thought that I had been kidnapped. Big loud whistles. He heard was... them echoing throughout the whole forest. But why do you think I would have been kidnapped in the middle of that peaceful, beautiful forest? Because. Well, mostly because your water bottle was still there. You don't go anywhere without your water bottle. <laughs> yeah, bottle. I felt bad when I got back and he was wandering around and I, I was just shocked that you woke up, that you were awake that early. But anyways, what was your favorite part uh, of the short camping trip? I won. Seeing the view. Like all the things in poker last night. Oh yeah, we played poker last night and we For didn't chores. we didn't have anything to bet with, so we decided to bet with chores. I won once out of many times. <laughs> so I owe him a lot of chores, which is so <laughs> unfair. Basically what's gonna happen is it's gonna get to like a day when Sarah I can't be arsed doing the chores and she's gonna ask me to do them. She's gonna be like, oh, can you just do the dishes today? And I'll be like, oh cash it. I'm gonna do all of them today. So it's all out of the way. No, I have to cash them in. You can't no. just you can't just do them. Yes. No. So I'm gonna drive home now. Take care, everybody. See you soon. I am back in my studio. Had a really wonderful shower. It always feels so amazing when you shower after camping. Um, but we had to have a very short camping trip because we didn't have anyone to look after our kitties, and. Luckily though, we don't live that far from the Cairngorms and now that I had a little taste of it, I am very much looking forward to more trips. Oh, it was just so magical to get away for even just one night and seeing the sunrise, like, oh, I feel so inspired. I just want to paint nonstop. <laughs> I was actually thinking of making a longer video with lots of drone footage and like close-ups of beautiful things in nature with either some relaxing music or just nature sounds. Uh, just doing a long video like that purely for background noise, just, you know, having something relaxing on. Uh, let me know what you think, if, if that's something you guys would be interested in or if I should just do it. I, I might just do it anyway. <laughs> Anyways, I am now going to edit this vlog and then get back to work because I have lots of projects going on and it's always a challenge to get back into production mode after a day away. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care.